Hi everyone, so we've had a lot of requests asking for more information about our presentation that we did this weekend just gone for 2019 on fire. So we thought we'd come together and do a presentation on a recorded Zoom call so that you can hand it down to your teams, to your downline and you can have something to refer back to. Oh, don't do this. <laughs> Here we go, okay. So how to build a customer base. So we consistently, every single month, get between 15 and 20 new customers, new personal customers every single month as a minimum. Our customer retention is really strong, something to be really proud of. Uh, we're gonna keep it really, really simple in this presentation with DMO as our focus. Feel free to go over and follow us on our Facebooks. We can't accept any more friend requests, so just give us a follow, we'll follow you back. So, hi everyone, I'm Hannah, and I'm gonna talk about something that's really essential in your daily method of operation, which is growing your network. And it's something that people do not do. For some reason, they come in and they're really, and we do know what it is. It's people are scared because they're so worried of what people are gonna say if they try and grow their network. But unfortunately, the truth is, if you've got 200 followers on Instagram or 300 friends on Facebook, you're just not gonna get 15 to 20 new customers every single month because it's mathematically impossible if you just think about it. You don't wanna annoy your friends and family. And that's something people also say to us, don't wanna annoy my friends and family. You don't need to do that at all. It's all about taking your cold network, so people you don't know, and turning them into your warm net network, so people you have a relationship with. You, and it just gets you out of that mindset of you just can't keep speaking to the same people over and over again. So how do you grow your network? Okay, well, first of all, you need to do it every single day. Um, on Facebook, we, are, we have a very specific way of doing this. So for example, I will go into a friend's uh, Facebook friends list. It will be a friend that I've got some things in common with, someone I think is interesting, positive, you know, looks after themselves maybe. I'll go into their friends list and I'll have an option of mutual friends, suggested friends and all friends. So the list you wanna to go to is suggested friends and you wanna look for people who are like you. So for example, I will always look for, for women of roughly my age um, who are potentially mums and they look like they're a positive person. If I've got more than three friends in common with them, sometimes even two, I'll friend request them. What you don't wanna do is get really bogged down in looking for the perfect person to friend request, the person who'll be perfect to join your team or your ideal customer because you will take forever to find those people and the chances are that most of the people you request aren't going to accept. That's just the way it goes and that's fine. So don't get too bogged down in it, be mind bog bogged down in it, but be mindful of the type of person you're requesting. The other thing you can do is exactly the same with your customer's friends. Um, and another great way of doing this is looking in common interest Facebook groups. So I'm in a mum group where they share like uh, really lovely branded secondhand clothing and you can buy and sell in there. And I've gone into their members list and it even tells you people that you've got things in common with in that group. And it is a great way to add loads of people to your network really quickly. If you have a Facebook page, you might wanna run a free challenge uh, post so basically running a free challenge in your customer support group, invite people via a sponsored ad to join you on that challenge. We're not gonna really focus on that purely because it requires a marketing budget and we want this to be something that's duplicatable to absolutely everybody and that's what we focus on within our team. So in terms of adding people on Facebook, it depends how much time you have per day as to how many people you're gonna add. So I have about three hours a day, so I try to add somewhere around 90 to 100 people per day. And I would expect about 20 of those to accept, maybe a bit more. If you've only got an hour a day, maybe just add a minimum of 30 and see how you go. And you'll get an idea of how good your ratios are. Absolutely. Another thing I'll just touch on is finding your tribe. This is really, really important. Um, so although both Hannah and I are both mums, our tribe is very, very different. It's important to find your niche. The mums out there, you are more than just a mum. What I recommend to all of my team who start is to brainstorm who you are as a person, because like I say, you are more than just a mum. So what are your hobbies? What are your interests? What do you do in your spare time? Um, do you work? How old are you? Are you celiac, for example? I'm a vegetarian trying to go vegan, so I'm gonna be showing up in those kind of groups. So that's the kind of content you're gonna see on my Facebook. You have to be relatable. 
Next up is the importance of engagement. So you can't just add people on Facebook, sit back and relax and hope that they can see your posts. Everyone knows that Facebook's algorithm changes all the time, so engagement is absolutely vital. Facebook is a social network platform, it's there for connecting, that's what Facebook want you to do. So the more you connect, um, and really work Facebook's algorithm, the more it's going to go in your favour. So we were lucky enough to have a Zoom call in the summer with this guy, Fraser Brooks. Go check him out on um, YouTube. He's absolutely amazing. He does three to five minute short videos. Um, he's a social um, media coach. He used to be in network marketing himself, so he knows what he's talking about. Something that he recommended for us is to spend 10 to 15 minutes before you put a post out of warming up your Facebook. So have you ever thought of a really, really good post? You've spent ages on the text. The picture is on point. You've put a white border around it. It's prime time. It's between 7 and 11 in the evening. You put your post out there. You wait 10 minutes. You go back and you have a look. And you've got three likes, one comment, and it's from a team member. And you think, what is going on? I don't understand. It all comes down to your engagement. So here is just a list of some vital things that you need to do every single day and things are great to do before you put a post out on social media. So replying to your Facebook stories or your Instagram stories, for example, don't just react with them for a like, a love heart, a ha ha, a wow. It's really important to reply because that goes straight into their messenger rather than getting lost in notifications. Commenting on posts as well is essential, just showing up being a leader, being a conversation starter, always comment with emojis, something really positive, Facebook recognises that. Happy birthdays as well, it's just nice to be nice, again, pop them in the messenger, not on their Facebook wall, use those emojis, a trick that I do, for example, just to stand out, so I start the conversation with lots of emojis first, and then I write my text, it's not just a happy birthday, I put happy birthday lovely, wishing you the best day ever, blah, 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 be different. Never just scroll and roll through Facebook and go liking posts. Likes will get you nowhere. You have to use the Facebook reactions. Make sure that you don't just go through your timeline as well. You go through your friends list, pick some friends, react, comment to their posts. Carrying conversations over to Messenger as well is vital, as Fraser Brooks says. Um, commenting on posts and Messenger is always king. Live videos as well, this is absolutely fabulous. I know a lot of people have a fear of doing live videos. Fuck the fear, do it anyway. Showing up in groups, this is essential. This is something I do every single day. I let myself into new groups that are relatable to me. I show up in there, show I'm a conversation starter and a leader. That's also where I grow my network from. Again, being a conversation starter is essential. Something that we do um, is we invite our new friends to our free support group, um, just with a nice message, tweak it so that it's suitable for them. It's not just a copy and paste message. And we invite them to our free group. We never ever mention the words Juice Plus, buy my shit, None of that. Brilliant. So showing up. So you've added all these new people to your network. You've got over the fear of doing that, which is the most important thing. So now you're engaging with them, but it's so, so essential that you show up every day. Why? Because you want to build a relationship with people. So when people say in our business that they worked really, really hard, I used to think like, what are they going on about? Like, what is it they're actually doing to be working really hard? Because I was happy to work hard. I just didn't really know what I needed to be doing. And it's all about showing up. So all these DMO things, and one of those is showing up. So how do you do that? Because we have, when people, new people join our team, they say to us, I don't really know what to post about. Like, how often should I be posting? And we say, you know, come on, let's start posting three times a day. And they say, but my life's boring. I've got nothing to share. And it's not true at all. You just need to really think about all the little things that you do and turn them into something, capture those moments. So for example, you know, if you're a mum at home, you think, well, me sitting on the sofa watching Jeremy Kyle isn't very interesting. You need to go out and live a bit of a better life. You need to start sharing the lifestyle because you need to be someone that other people are gonna to wanna to join whether that's product related or business related. So share your life. And unfortunately, I'm sorry to say it, you need to take pictures of yourself. I know you think that's a big, e a lot of people think that's a big ego maniac thing. It's not, it's just you making yourself familiar to other people because what you need to do is get to a point where your cold market are your warm market 
and they know you, they like you and they trust you. So sharing your life is really important and it stops you just being a juice plus seller, okay? So also sharing your health journey stops you being a spammer. Um, you know, you need to lead by example. You know, people say, I, I think I'm gonna join your business, but I'm gonna wait until I've lost the weight. And you think, no, don't do that because people love real people. If you go on your own weight loss journey, for example, or you know, your own journey with your skin, whatever your journey is, where you started and where you and your journey is what inspires people because they feel like they can do it too. So don't feel like you've got to be perfect to start. You've just got to start and just share your journey and be confident enough to do that. Before and after photos are something that we share as well on our profiles. So they're not going to get the most engagement. They just don't. But what they do is they start people messaging your messaging you straight to your inbox. And again, it's all about the storytelling. So storytelling equals success. So if you're gonna post a testimonial, make it about that person's story, not just a, a picture of products. It just doesn't work. You need to really make it emotional about that person, relate to that person and share their story. And that is what people want to, they wanna feel it. And then they can say, I wanna feel like that too. I'm gonna get in touch with her. Now don't be lazy because pictures of your shake pouch on the side, as I was saying on Saturday with your, dirty dishes in the background or your crying child in the background you know whatever it is it just doesn't really work people no one's going to go oh I need to get me some of that it if you just think about what you want to see you wouldn't want to see pictures spammed of products all over the place so it's ineffective so just think about what how you can do it in a way that is storytelling and storytell every day and show up and that is what will get people to know like and trust you Adding value, okay. So again, we're gonna keep moving on through getting people to know, like, and trust you. The way you do that is by storytelling and adding value to people's lives. People get confused by, by what adding value actually is. And there are some really obvious ways, like adding recipes to your support group, meal plans, running exercise challenges that people absolutely love, by the way, like squat challenges, always really well attended in our group. People absolutely love the idea of getting a better bum. I guess it's a really fashionable thing to do at the moment. So all of that sort of thing adds value, but there's lots of other ways you can do it too. And I think it's really important to think out of the box and think about how you can add value to your network because we're all so different. So Faith, I know you have some great ways that you do that. Yeah, so I love doing a come cook with me live. It's something really simple on a Monday evening that I do when I'm cooking my dinner because obviously I'm leading by example. I just go live and I show the members of the group what I'm making, how easy it is and how they can do it too. It's real life as well. Um, I'm building a relationship with a lot of people in one go. It's building the know, like trust, because ultimately that's what's going to help you get your customers. Again, I love to do hauls and hacks videos. Um, so at the weekend, I posted a Instagram and Facebook story of a little hack of how to hold your thigh high boots up. And it's just adding value in different ways. Again, hauls, I love to do this. I love to shop really savvy, be really smart with my coin. Um, so I post on my Instagram stories, my Facebook stories, like a picture of where I've been shopping. I can guarantee I'm, my inbox is going to be flooded of messages like, please do a haul, show us what you've got. Um, and I always pop on there as well, ways to save money through different apps, how much things were, how other people can do it too. It's just about being really relatable. And through all of this, especially doing the live videos, I get messages from people that I don't know who say, I feel like I know you, but I don't. And it's an amazing way of adding value. It's so true. And I did a, a live, gosh, it was months back now on how to make your bin smell nice with um, Zaflora, like putting it on a little cotton pad and putting it in your bin. And it just went mental. And now everyone tags me in everything to do with Zaflora. <laughs> so at least like a couple of times a week, someone tags me in something to do with Zaflora just because I did that live about it. So what you've got to understand, and I, I should have said this earlier, but what you've got to understand is no one cares about your business on social media. You care about your business. So do your team. You know, your mum and your dad might care about your business, but no one else gives them monkeys. So you have to do it in a way that brings value to their lives. And that is when people are accepting of it. So here are just some examples of other ways that we add value. And it's simple things like making people laugh. 
like capturing the not so perfect Christmas photos for me was a really good way to really boost my engagement. People always say to me, like, like Faith was saying, I feel like I know you, but I don't. But also you make me feel so much better about being a parent. I can, you know, people are so busy on Facebook trying to be perfect all the time and you don't do that at all. And that's an intentional thing. A simple to-do list there, uh, but I don't know if you can read, but it's a joke about how much stuff mums have to do in the lead up to Christmas before school finishes, like all the plays you have to go to and everything, but it's really funny. And it got like over 90 shares and these posts have all got great engagement on them and it, that's how you measure value. Definitely. And uh, the reactions, the comments and the shares are absolutely vital to this. So first, it's obviously relatable and that's why it's been shared so many times. So you'll see in the last two posts, one of them has been shared 91 times, the other one's been shared 77. So that's your face and your profile on 91 and 77 other people's profiles, which is absolutely amazing. It's all about attraction marketing and getting people to come to you. Okay, so next up, how do we actually get our inquiries? Everyone should have a free support group so that everyone is welcome. It's not just for customers, it's for absolutely everyone. So we have one that is specifically for women. Um, and in here, we offer loads of free value that we've just spoken about. And we also drip feed and plant seeds about the products, the results and the challenges. It's not a Juice Bus related group. We're just sharing the results that we get from something else that helps us. So polls, I love a poll. I do one every sort of three to four times a week. I do a Facebook profile, Facebook and Instagram stories as well. This is a great way of getting people to come to you. I always give them two positive options. So I'm never going to put in there um, a negative option or a no because I don't care about the no's. All I want to care about is the yes. Using attraction marketing. So as you can see, for this example, it's a little bit pixelated. Um, it's really bright, it's fun, it's colourful. If you check out the wording as well, it's all about helping women slay. I'm not talking about weight loss, buy my shit, use my shakes, let's get you skinny. I'm talking about how I want to help you every day slay, nourish your body from the inside and out. Just before this, again, I used um, some great pictures for customer results. Um, and you can see, well, I like to think my branding is on point anyway, through lots of colourful pictures. It's different from what you'd normally see. Um, it's girls and it's a great representation of me and what I can offer you. So the next way that we get inquiries is through sharing testimonials. So obviously, as we've touched on, sharing your own testimonial is really important. And you'll never get as many inquiries as when you share your own story. Um, sharing sidelines success with the products, sharing your customers, your colleagues, customers with their permission. Again, like I always say, you are never gonna get loads of engagement, but I can still get on a testimonial. If you write it in the correct way, I can still get around 30 engagements on a customer testimonial. And it does fill your inbox whether you like sharing them or not. People do still need to know what we do, and we can do that through testimonials. We can do that without spamming pitch their products over and over again. Um, and also, you know, I should have mentioned earlier, share pictures of your products, your capsules in your hand, things like that, but try not to put in too much packaging because then people feel like they're really being sold to. Now, I'm not saying don't ever do that. I'm saying you need to mix it up and get the balance right. So testimonials are powerful. Challenges, so Shred 10 is a massive thing for us at the moment helping people kickstart their health journey in 10 days, you know, put a doors closing time on that. We had loads of people that joined us at the end of December, ready to start for the beginning of January, just because they didn't want to miss out. Live videos, we've already touched on it, but live videos are the way to get not only your relationship, you know, solid with your friends network, but a way for you to build the relationship talk about your own, um, your own journey, your own vulnerabilities. And by doing the live, that's how people buy into you because they don't buy into the product, they buy into you as a person. And um, by doing that, you're more likely to get more inquiries. Plans rather than products. So we don't, we don't just say buy our shakes, we say join our Shred 10 plan to get some amazing results in 10 days and kick your, kickstart yourself into a much healthier lifestyle. Um, and the doors are closing soon. So we push the plan, we don't push the product. And then people feel curious. They come to you and you ask, they ask you what it's all about. So it's all about being indirect. As I said, 
don't use too much packaging your posts don't use products sitting on your kitchen side it doesn't work indirect posts are what will get you inquiries absolutely i'd also say get it off your facebook i see some people with it on their cover photos oh. they're <laughs> holding their you know shake bag get it gone also as well i will just mention um don't ever have in your bio sdd at juice plus don't give the game away create no curiosity <laughs> exactly and people are so uneducated about what the company is and you know what we stand for a lot of people have a negative view of that so never ever write the words juice plus oh my slides already changed okay get organized i don't know about you i'm a really really busy mummy so often um i can read a message and then think I'll get back to that later and forget. The way that I do this is I have a list. If you're engaging correctly, like I've spoken about before, you should have been really active in your messenger. So it can be really easy to lose a conversation that you've had. All you're looking for here is a good yes or a good no. And it's really duplicatable downline, a great foundation to start from if you're new. Remember our business is about building relationships. So as you can see here, I've just put a little example. I have a list I carry absolutely everywhere with me. It's a name, someone that I've spoken to, their goal, because I want to help them achieve their goal, a product that we've spoken about, a follow-up box, and I might tick this more than once. It might be three, four times I've ticked this box. All I'm looking for is a good yes or a good no. Can I help you? Do you want my help? Yes or no. I don't take it personally. It's nothing to do with me. A lot of it comes down to timing as well with some people. So I'd absolutely recommend a list. I also have a list for um, the business side of things. The people that I've spoken to about the business, again, all I'm looking for is a yes or no. Our goal is simply to educate people and help them to understand what we can offer them and what the products can do for them. We're not here to try and convince anybody anything. Okay, so you've had inquiries into your inbox because you've been doing all these amazing things in your daily method of operation consistently every single day. So what do you do now? Okay, well, the first thing you need to make sure you don't do is if someone comes to you and says, oh, can you tell me more about these capsules? Can you tell me how much they are? The worst thing you can do is send them the prices straight away, a picture of a price list. Don't do it because what you really need to do is get that relationship going as quickly as possible so you need to ask them what their health goals are take an interest in them you know chances are you're probably going to be able to relate to whatever their issue is because you will naturally attract people like you i naturally attack, attract mums who have got baby weight to lose and want more energy because those are the types of people that i'm adding to my network and those are the types of people that see what i'm doing and think i want to be like that so start building that relationship really quickly. Faith uses a questionnaire, and we use that with our brand new people, um, a questionnaire which asks all of those questions too, and then goes on to talk about budget, but we'll touch on that in a minute. Give them the solution, you know, ask them the question, and what are your health goals? And then what we use are our resources. So we use the resources to show them the solution. At the beginning when you join, it can be really scary because you don't know everything about the product, especially if you're new to using it as well. But what the company is great at is giving us videos and little leaflets on our virtual office, all stuff that can be used electronically to send to our customers. So we have a Shred 10 video in our support group that we tag people in information on that. We have a general product information video in that group. Um, we also have the Mitra Ray video for Shred 10. But also if someone's an information person, I will send them the, um, the leaflet on the premium capsules from the virtual office so they can really get a thorough understanding of it all. So what I'm saying is you don't need to be an expert. Obviously, it's your business. You need to learn everything about the products, but don't feel like you need to do it all straight away. And actually, using a resource is more powerful than you rambling on in a voice note or you know, setting your thumbs on fire by just writing it all down. Respond and give people the respect in a timely manner. So we've had people say to us in the past, don't give back to people too quickly because you look really desperate. But actually, A, we're a business and I would expect to be responded to quickly as a customer or potential customer. But also, I find that if you can respond to somebody quickly, you're catching them at a time where they're in the right frame of mind when they've obviously got time to talk to you about it. 
if you leave it until the evening, they might be really busy and they just won't have time. And before you know, know it, they've talked themselves out of it. So responding in a timely way and giving them enough respect by doing that is something that we think is really important. And as I said, it is scary at the beginning, you know, for a new team. So really hold their hand, show them how it's done in one way or another, whether it's you doing a three-way chat with whoever, the customer and that new person, or whether it's just looking at the messages and helping them to craft a message back to that potential customer. Because by the time they've got to DD or STD, they're going to be absolutely fine doing it on their own. And also another thing, you know, if someone wants to get on the phone, if they're a person that wants to get on the phone, get on the phone with them. I've got a few customers like that and they tend to be customers that are a little bit older. Um, some people just really appreciate that personal touch by just jumping on the phone with them too. Oh, and sorry, just to say, do remember, discipline your disappointment because not everyone's going to become your customer. It, they just don't. Okay, so people say, oh, I've had like 10 people tell me they want to buy this month and none of them have ordered. That's going to happen. It's just the way it goes. You need to get more inquiries and then your ratios improve. It all just gets better and better. So get more inquiries, talk to more people and your customer numbers will go up. Okay, how to overcome these frequent objections. <laughs> Can I just try it for one month? No, you can't. Um, it's a lifestyle change, it's not a diet, it's not a quick fix. We really promote longevity here and sustainable results. Um, look it up, it's all to do with the free radicals in the body, cell regeneration, that kind of thing. I don't know, I'm not a scientist. Um, can I get a sample first? Samples haven't worked for me. Again, people aren't going to see results, it's not a quick fix. You don't want the responsibility of them being lost in the post. And to be honest, I don't think uh, the company themselves even recommend that you're doing it. I don't think it's even allowed. So I wouldn't personally recommend doing that. I can't afford it. It's too expensive. I'm going to touch on that in the next slide and give you the answer. Um, next up, I only want enough shakes for the Shred 10. So the way that we market the Shred 10 is a kickstart to your health journey. So we will never buy a box of shakes and sell them individually. Again, the company doesn't like you doing that, so I wouldn't recommend doing it. And here we're looking for sustainable results. We're not just looking for a 10 day quick fix. I already eat enough fruit and veg. We all know the answer is total lies. Don't believe them, block delete. I'm joking, don't do that, okay. Sealing the deal, this is how I seal the deal with my potential customers. I will send them a health questionnaire. This is just what, what works for me. Feel free to screenshot or make up your own one. Um, here we talk about their health, their energy, their eating habits and their struggles. So remember, they're telling you their problem and it's up to us to give them a solution. Um, as you can see, number seven and eight, here we talk about a budget. So how much can you afford to spend a day to reach your goals? A lot of people I have found will always choose the one to three pounds option, but that's totally cool because on its own, it's the premium capsules or it could be the shakes and the boosters, shakes and berries, whatever their goal might be. Um, the last question is how much per week do you spend on the following? So all of these things here, these options are steering them away from their goals. So they've told you how much they can afford. They're also telling you here what they waste a week. So for example, if you have someone that spends 20 pounds a week on takeaways, you can just say to them, I would totally recommend having a takeaway perhaps once every fortnight, once every month. Therefore, you have saved 40 to 60 pounds. You can afford X, Y, Z, and it's gonna help you achieve your health goals. I love that. I would totally recommend not having a takeaway every week. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't use the questionnaire personally. I recommend it to our, the new people in our team for sure. Um, but I follow exactly the same process when I talk to somebody when it comes to sealing the deal. So always your top health goals first. Always, always empathise. Then I'd share a resource with them to give them more information. And then we do exactly the same. We talk about budget. So I don't do it daily, I do it monthly. And you always find, I always find that someone goes somewhere in the middle. It's always around kind of 30 to 40 pounds a month for a four month initial commitment. And then you know, 40 quid a month, okay, great. They can afford either the shakes or they can afford the fruit and veg capsules. And of course, then you're going in with the um, healthy starts opportunity as well, where they can get free nutrition for their children. The key thing is to make sure that they can hear it hear it in your posture that it isn't too expensive if you are really kind of reluctant in how you give that information over 
it makes people feel like it's too expensive. So in your mind, you need to feel like for you, it isn't too expensive. Once you get your head around the benefits, how amazing our product is, and you talk about it with excitement, and that's why voice notes can be quite good. Once you can do that, you'll find that the um, that your ratio of inquiries to customers dramatically increases. Okay, reality check time. So we're coming to the end. You really need to stop giving a shit about what anyone thinks of you. Now, it's easy for me to say that because I've been doing this for four and a half years, but you really need to. And it is actually really liberating when you stop caring about what other people think. You need to have a bulletproof vest on. You know, that's why we're the rhinos, because you have the skin of a rhino, you know, with what we do if you want to succeed. Stop caring what people think, get your blinders on and just do what you need to do. Um, and that will become really attractive to people and people will want to be part of that. Do not give up towards the end of the month. It is the, one of the biggest mistakes I see people making all the time. And I'm going to give you an example. So December, always naturally going to be a little bit quieter. By the 25th of December, I'd only had two customers. And I did think to myself, shall I just stop here for December? Or shall we crack on and advertise Shred 10 and really, really get moving with it? And we did. We cracked on with it. And by the 20, I think it was the 29th in the end, I had 15 new customers on my customer list, all because we just didn't stop. We were consistent and we kept going. So I had 15 brand new personal customers for December. So it didn't end up being a bad month at all. But for some people, that is the difference between going direct distributor and senior direct distributor. It's huge. So don't give up and don't hold your orders back. Absolutely. We'd always recommend as well setting yourself a goal each month. Um, new starters, even if you're not, not new, 85 plus one as a minimum is absolutely fab to start from. Also remember that it's never about you. Building a customer base is never about you. It's always about we and not me. So how can I help you? If you help enough people get what they want, in turn, you are going to get what you want. Um, also, my girls will know I absolutely hate the word sales. We are sharers, we are not sellers. If you get your mindset right, because your customers are your business and without them, you do not have a business. So have the attitude, instead of how many sales and orders can I get this month, flip it. How many people can I help achieve their health goals this month? And I promise you with that mindset, you will notice a huge difference in your business when you start making it about other people and not yourself, not your paycheck, not your promotion. Okay, so that is us guys. Really hope that we have helped you um, in some way. We'll leave the video up so you can refer back to it. Feel free to take screenshots send it to your downline, use it for training, whatever you guys want to do. Um, and remember to give us a follow on Facebook. Thank you. Bye.